Hello everyone, this is Zy Woodsworth, and today I'm going to be showing you the slash scoreboard command in Minecraft. So, um, this command is actually extremely useful for maps and the like. So, if you, so, uh, first of all, you're going to want to go and chat and type in slash scoreboard. And after that, um, you're going to go objectives, and here's uh, the different uh, things that you can do when you're starting out. So, uh, to, to start your scoreboard, you're going to want to click add, and then um, you're just going to want to give it um, a name, so I'll just give it test. And then, uh, this is basically, um, what the objective is showing. So, there's, uh, the level, as in XP level, so if, um, I would, d uh, type in level, that means that the scoreboard would show whatever my level was. So, then there's health, food, uh, death count, armor, I don't know what air is, uh, and then there's dummy, and dummy is basically, uh, a custom one that, e that isn't affected by the, uh, world itself, it's only affected by command blocks and players, um, so, then if I click this, um, it'll say, created new objective, test. And so now, nothing is showing up, so you have to do slash scoreboard, and then objectives, but then this time, you have to put set display, and then you can pick the target of who's seeing it, and um, uh, the, and, uh, in general. So, you can put it below the name, which is basically, like, when uh, it, it appears right below a player's name tag. And sidebar is off to the right side of the screen here. So, if I do sidebar... Oh, sorry. And then, uh, you put your... Uh, what you named your objective. Uh, now... It will be registering us on the side, but there's nothing showing up because there's no data in the scoreboard. So now, um, you're going to go scoreboard, and this time you're going to go players because you're changing the players' data. And this time I'm going to put add, and I'm going to put myself, and then you're going to put the name of your scoreboard, and then whatever amount you want, and then, it, um, on the right side of the screen, it will say test, and underneath that, it will say Zy Woodsworth with one point. And, if you put this into repeating command blocks, you can create, uh, sort of a score, and this is very helpful for making maps, um, for keeping uh, track of things such as death count uh, and in that case you would just replace the dummy when you're creating an objective with death count and then uh, you would be able to alter it but it would naturally show how many deaths the person has so if I do objectives add and then I'll just call it death count and then I put death count, and then I display it on the sidebar. I change the, from it uh, test to death count, and then if I do uh, slash kill, as you can see, the death count has gone to has changed to Zai underscore Woodsworth with one death because I just died. So, with that, that wraps up the slash scoreboard command. If you learned something, please consider subscribing. And with that, thank you for watching.